Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the StreamingAdvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And what we're doing in this video is we're going to show you the Spectrum app. The Spectrum app is available for people who sign up for cable services with things like formerly Time Warner, which has now been rebranded Spectrum. And how it works is it's a Roku app that essentially makes your Roku into a cable box. Just to let you know ahead of time, this app actually is free. It doesn't have a like an upcharge the way that the app from Xfinity does. And you can see that it allows you to pull up the same kind of menu that you can with your big giant cable box remote control. So you have access to your live TV, a program guide, the library, which is basically built off of things that you're currently watching, on demand, search for on demand, and a settings menu. There's more to it also, but I'm going to start with the settings because there's some cool stuff here. For one, it shows you how to get in touch with them. Of course, if your cable's out, you can't really get to this app, but you know, Preferences will help you get in and switch things around, including clearing your history. The parental controls is a big deal, because under parental controls, you can obviously control what your kids are watching. And that could be a big factor for some people. You, you want to have a kid's safe environment, you can go right in here, change that, you know, and then maybe you can turn it on and as long as the kids can't access the rest of the controls they can't get to the things that you don't want them to see and so I think that's an excellent excellent deal but let me show you a bit about how this works for one you're looking at live TV obviously this is PBS our local PBS station WUNC TV at a Chapel Hill looks like we're looking at Maya Angelou there If you type, if you tap left on the remote, you see these two menus. This is basically the channel lineup. You want to flip through the channels, this is where you go. Tap left, and there you are. You can just flip through to the next thing. It gives you a nice little load screen, and then boom, your show starts. When you tap left on the remote twice, using the little cross you get the filters and the filters are cool because they can help you zero in on exactly what you're looking for you can even change how things get displayed see channel number or network name so you can go in alphabetical order if you like but right now I'm telling it that I want to look at all the channels that we got and it's important to note that the channels in the app include nearly everything that you can get with the box. As you see, it's got the upper tier. But with this app, you can zero in real quickly on specifics. Like, let's say you want to jump into your sports channels. There you are. This is only the sports channels. NFL Total Access. There you go. So, that, I believe, is a very nice feature. And another note that I want to make sure you understand is, you see it says Locals. You can get all of your local channels through this app. It's very easy. You just jump right in. And there's CBS Overnight News. Yeah, it's 3 a.m. Yikes. So, there's that. I think that's cool. Um, the guide looks just like a normal cable guide. You should all be familiar with this. So, what you've got here, you know, you can look on, see what's coming up all through the day. And again, that goes through the entire lineup of channels. Also, if you jump in, 
the on demand section is really nice I like it a lot in fact what it does is it gives you a nice grid system it looks more or less like the Amazon app and Netflix kinda like what they used to look like and you'll see what I'm talking about you see the little almost comic book balloon there you know that's the way the Netflix app used to look just as soon as you know time time warner and spectrum caught up netflix changed the look but you know it's all fine but you can see that it breaks things up into various genres and at the bottom you can look for on demand content from any given network now i've noticed as you look through these most of the time the things that are available on demand are broken up by say like the last five episodes usually let's see if this is one uh, it looks like we've got the whole lineup here there's a lot of complaints sometimes about you know what do you get do you get the last five do you get you know the whole season looks like this one yes this one has the last five one two three four all oh, the last four <laughs> learn to count there rye so you never know what you're gonna get when it comes to the to that but if you're keeping up with a show regularly that's a different story that's actually a lot easier so if you don't want to go through the grid system you can search directly for something that you want to watch like I'm a big fan of the flash so you go up here and start typing all I had to do was FL and the flash comes right up at the top. You select it. And it's going to pull up the flash page. Looks like you got to wait a bit cuz uh you know whatever whatever is the latest is that was on that came out on Tuesday and this is essentially very early Wednesday morning. It's not available yet. But on the other hand, other episodes are up watch it on demand now when you do on demand it's going to give you a little warning or not warning just an announcement so you can't fast forward so you got to watch this for what it is and just get over it cool thing about the you know the flash I mean if you've got a CW app for the Roku so you can have a couple of more features on that but there it is there's the flash these on-demand episodes are commercially supported I guess they gotta make their money somehow but you see that it even gives you I'll go back kinda cool you even get like cast information and things like that no details on her but hey at least you have the answer well who's the one who does that Not as integrated as you might hope it would be, but it's not bad. I also like that it gives you these selections here, you know, other things that you might enjoy. So, there's that. And so as you see, this is a pretty cool little app, and it really is. And see, the thing is, is that a lot of people say things like, you know, if you hook up a Roku to a regular TV, it essentially makes it into a smart TV. Well, yes and no. Smart TVs usually don't look like this, do they? You know, blocky. Um, but, of course, Roku TVs do. The Roku branded TVs. And so, what you get with something like this is almost like a full Roku TV experience. And what you can do with this is set this up anywhere. You can set up your Roku on any television and then save yourself the extra charge that comes from having that cable box and so if you're somebody who has cable and you want to be able to access tons and tons and tons of on-demand content and channels and everything else and not have to make a choice as to what kind of a box you're gonna have on you know like if you know you don't have to disconnect a cable box and lose that you can go in put your Roku in place 
watch your cable channels, and get all of the on-demand stuff just like that. So I think that is a really cool option, and I think it's a nice money saver. For those of you who have three and four cable boxes spinning in, you had to spend seven, eight dollars per box. I don't know. Maybe spent saving twenty four to thirty dollars isn't a big deal to you, but I can always save, I'll tell you that. So that's this. That's what this is. This app lets you do all of those things, save money, get access to things, and actually save yourself the time of having to flip back and forth between, you know, whether you're watching the Roku on HDMI this or that. You can watch everything just from the Roku interface. So, that's that. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please subscribe. We could always use more viewers. We're very close to 10,000 subscribers at the moment. Maybe we will have broken it by the time you've seen this video. But, either which way, I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.